Bible teaches, how you doing, how you doing? What the Bible teaches is our people, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, are the greatest people on this earth. There's no such thing as equality in the Bible. Teach. All right? We're, we're under a bunch of people that don't care about us. All the people that own these stores, these other nations, that come in our neighborhood and thrive off of us and don't give us nothing back. They're, they're told to be the bottom. That's what God says. They're supposed to be the tail. We're supposed to be ahead of all of them. But that's what the Bible said. Read that again. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3. And, and verse 1. Yeah, you said the government. The government is ran by who? That's our enemy according to the Bible. Now check this out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. My brother, come on about your history. Come on over here. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. Now he's saying this to the Israelites, okay? Which are the so-called blacks and saints in America. Go ahead. You only. Read that again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Say, you only have my daughter. All the families that he created, he's only dealing with us. But go ahead. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And we're being punished right now because we broke the laws of God, and that's why he has us low. Deuteronomy 28. I'm gonna show you something, bro. Because Christianity would tell you that everybody's equal and God loves everybody. If God would deal with everybody the same way, why don't white people live like this? Why don't that well the, uh, the Asians live like this? Why don't the Hawaiians or any other the East Indians? Why don't they live in hoods like this? Why is it not every other day somebody gets shot in their neighborhood? Why is it not a whole bunch of baby mothers and a whole bunch of nonsense going on in their neighborhoods? Why does that not happen to them if we was all equal? Because that's why this, this is why this is designed like this. It's designed, exactly. And as long as you know, those are your enemies. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Now we're going to show you why we're at the bottom. We're going to show you why God is punishing us. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. God is saying, if we do not keep his commandments, if we do not hearken to him and listen, what's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said our people are going to be a cursed people. And that's the way you can notice, that's the way you can know who the children of Israel are. You understand that, right? Let me show you a curse that's on us right now. Keep going. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. It says, cursed shall thou be in the city. We live in what? This is Richmond, right? Richmond. Slum land. The slum land. That's what the brother just said, right? Anything, yes, anything that's built of colonized. Colonized. There you go. There you go. That's our people being cursed in the cities. All right, we live in the worst parts. Upgrade slavery. Hey, my brother, my sister, when y'all go into that store, do y'all get fresh fruits, fruits nope. and vegetables? Why don't we get that here? Why don't, why don't we have, we got what? We get weed, beers, food, all that stuff that, that destroys our bodies. Why don't we have a farm fresh in our neighborhood? Why don't we have a wet mess in our neighborhood? Why don't we got these nice places? Why don't we get the worst of the worst? Because your enemy has you in these places and he hates you. He don't want to see you come out of this. He wants to see you stuck in this, in this situation. And so he can thrive off of you. All right? You have to understand that everybody does not love y'all. You can only count on your people. And it starts with going to the most high God. Follow his laws. Come over here, bro. Come over here. We got to get to this. Go to Leviticus 19 and 17. It starts with this. The way we start cleaning up our people is loving each other first. That's where it starts, all right? Put it this way, brother. You work. You got a job? All right, how about this, man? You work hard. You work real hard for your money. Now... How does it make you feel in your head when you hear that somebody that works hard for their money gets robbed by somebody? Gets that money took? Gets stuck up? I mean... What? It depends on what, what type of goddamn situation they in. Alright, let me ask you. Let's get personal. What if somebody stole money from you, took it off you, pulled a gun to your head, told you to strip and take all your stuff? How would you feel then? Oh, no, I ain't going for it. But, but see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah. The same way you say you shouldn't go for that, the same way you should go for someone doing that to your brother. Right. That's how our community stay like this. Wake we should up. have to wake up and go out here and worry about what if our children get shot down. Or you getting shot down by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We're supposed to love each other because all of the nations, they conspire against us to keeping us in this situation. They're the ones that's pumping. How do guns get in our community, bro? Yeah. I got a gun. I got it legally, though. I got to register. How do most of our people get guns? Is it registered? Yeah, no, it's yeah, not. Yeah. It's not. Let's not stop playing, man. It's not. But that's a problem, though. A lot of people are dying. We're burying our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and sisters daily. Jeez. And it's like it's normal to us. How does that become normal for our family? 
think about that. Go to um, go to Revelation 13. I'm gonna show you something in this Bible. Revelation 13 and 4. All right. We gotta got this mindset because America is hell for us. This is where your captivity is being played out. Right. Right here in America. America the Great. Right. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 4. And they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast. The beast is America. That's what the beast is talking about. Modern day, today America. Right. That's what this beast is. A lot of us hold America high because we say this is the best nation. The land of the free, the home of the brave. We can do whatever we want here. You can do whatever you want except for leave your hood. Think about this. Hey, my brother, have you ever been outside the country? My brother, sisters, have any of y'all ever been outside the country? Sis, have you been outside the country? Hey, sis, what about you? Have you been outside the country? How many times? Down, give me the line. Uh -huh. Give me that. Give me, hey, give me, uh, give me nineteen eleven. Sis, come on over here. This is why we're in trouble right now. We're making these laws out. The law has to come forth. Right. Leviticus nineteen eleven. She says she's been outside the country thousands of times. I'll tell you one thing. If I've been out this yeah, country a thousand times and I live here, I would never come back to Mosby. Not Mosby. What are we at? Uh, Wickham Court. I would never come back to Wickham Court if I've been out the country a thousand times. Go ahead. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 11. Ye shall not steal. It says what? Ye shall not steal. Neither deal falsely. Neither lie. Neither what? Neither lie one to another. It says neither lie. The, the sister told me that she's been out this country Thousands of times, right? I want to see a passport now. Make me a lie. And I want to see a passport. But we know our people cannot afford to go out the country. It's expensive. My question is, why is every other country, or why does every other nation get to go outside the country and travel wherever the hell they want to go? But we subject to the ghettos and the slums. Right. That's all we know is our hood. We've never been outside of our hood, our comfortable, comfortable zone. Why is that? Don't you want better for yourselves? I want better for y'all, like y'all want better for us. We're a family. Right. God's family. Give me Exodus chapter 4 and 22. I'm sorry, 23. I'm going to show you that God is only for our people, that you're his children and nobody else. This is something that your Christian pastor has never taught you, that you're never going to learn in Christian church. Right. All right? Exodus chapter 4, verse 23. The book of Exodus chapter 4 and verse 23. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. 42. I'm sorry, 22. 22. 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. What did the Lord say? Israel is my son, even my firstborn. God says you so-called blacks and Spanish are his sons right. and his daughters. You're his children. That doesn't pertain to everybody. All right? That's why to come out this nonsense of thinking that we're all the same. Go to... um. Hebrews chapter 11. I think it's verse 16. All right, because this place is like we, 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 we grew up in the hoods and the slums and we think we're supposed to stay there. We think we're supposed to raise our children in these conditions, these horrible conditions. All right, that's, that's what our mindset is. Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. You know, you know. Now, they desire a better country. A better what? A better country right. that is and heavenly. Our heavenly country is what we desire. Not this right here. This isn't the end all be all. Keeping the commandments will get us that desired country. Because this is not our country, this is not our rest. What did uh, Micah, get that Micah 2. Micah 2, I think it started around like verse 6. All right? We have to come up with this mindset because America is a hellhole. America taught you that it's okay to be a homosexual. America taught you it's okay to sell drugs to your brother, to pump drugs, and the music that we listen to to kill our brother, we think that's okay. But in no other nation do they do that. You don't see the Chinese putting bandanas on their face talking about they're going to shoot the hood up, spin the block on a, on a chink, or whatever. They don't talk like that to each other. Go ahead. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. God said this is not our rest. Wickham Court is not your rest. All right? Keeping the commandments will get us out of this condition. All right? Read that again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It is what? It is polluted. It shall destroy you. This place is meant to destroy you. The mindset that Babylon, America has said, is meant to destroy us. Give me Revelation 18 and 4. 
All right. If anybody has any questions, we please come and learn about the Bible. Learn about your history. All right. We're not out here for a fun and games. Right. I got better things to be doing right now. It's raining outside. I want to be at home. We're commissioned to come out here by the Lord. We have no other choice but to come out here and teach our people, right. lest we die. Right. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people. God says, Come out of her, my people, which is America, the great whore. Right. The great whore is America because all her abominable works. Go ahead. That ye be not partaker of a sin. We're not supposed to be doing what America does. We celebrate Independence Day. What the hell are you getting independence from? You were the slave when that came into play. Right. What are you celebrating their memorial memorializations for? For what? Every dollar bill that you have, every coin that you have, has a white man in front of that coin right, right. or that dollar. What about your people? Gee. What do we ever think about that? Hey, somebody, can, can you pull up the preamble? Pull up preamble on your phone. I'm going to show you. This country was not meant for you. Read right. it from the top. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, and that ye be not partaker of her sins. Because America's full of sins. All right? The Bible teaches the laws of God. And America's against the laws of God. Right. All right? The, the Bible says a man shouldn't lay with a man, a woman should lay with a woman. What does America teach you? Oh, it's okay to do that. Do as thou wilt. Be free. All love is good love, right? That's what they say. All love is good love. Read this for me. Um, the preamble. You got to uh, read that part right there. This no, no, the preamble is the thing that states... It's, it's, the, it's the thing that's said right before the Constitution. It sets the stage for the Constitution of the United States of America. Read that. We the people of the United States. It says, we the people of the United States. A lot of y'all are like, oh, let's talk about me, because I'm an American. Keep going. In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, right. provide for the common defense, common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to it says it says the blessing of general welfare and the defense for who and secure the blessing of liberty to ourselves ourselves go ahead and our prosperity posterity it says our posterity let me tell y'all what that means all right when it says ourselves it's not talking about everybody in the united states of america that lives here and it says posterity Posterity is talking about your lineage, your seed, your people. Right. Now let me ask you this question. When that was written, what was our people doing in that time? Right. Where was our people at? What was the state of our people? Bring it up. Were we the same as them? No, we were slaves in there, so it wasn't talking about us. Right. This country was never meant for you. Keep going. To ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. The preamble told you you are not a citizen of the United States of America. That's right. not you. It's not meant for you. Appreciate it. That's good. Thank you all. It's not meant for you. Go back to Revelation 18 and 4. Yes, sir. Back to Revelation 18 and 4. Hey, bring hey. Hey, sis, let's drive up here real quick. Any questions you got, come on up. And I, the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. God already saw this coming. That's why he told you, come out of her, because this is not your this is not your rest. Right. This place does not care about you. At all. They're taking the histories of what happened to our forefathers out of the books. So our children are going to grow up thinking, oh, we're all the same. Slavery wasn't so bad. We learned a lot. That's what they said in Florida. The Gee. governor said we benefited from slavery. Gee. My brother, my brother, how in the hell can you benefit from slavery? Does that make any sense? How do you benefit from having your, your history stripped from you? Your name stripped from you? All your cousins that you learned stripped from you? My brother, you heard about that? The governor of Florida is trying to take away our history out of the books. He's saying that being a slave was beneficial. Keep going. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "She got any questions? Any questions? What she got? Come out of her! Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partaker of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues." Right, let me give you another play. That play that fell upon us because we did not listen to the Lord. Go to Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and start at verse. I want to say uh, thirty-two. Hey, sis, come on about your history according to the Bible, all right? You too, brother. My brother. Brother. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given 
unto another people. God said that our sons and our daughters will be given unto another people. Giving unto another people is nothing good. That means your, your children will be taken away from you. You have nothing to do with it. Hey, my sister, are any of y'all got any children? You got any uh, sons and daughters, sister? Keep going. And thine eye shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Now, a lot of y'all, y'all went to school. Did y'all learn about the transatlantic slave trade? The slave trade that had our people taken and put on ships and shipped all the way across the world and any, all across the world. Right. To serve slavery. We learned about that, right? Right. That's where it says our children were given unto another people. We didn't have no choice in it because we were slaves. All right. Read that last part again. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. It says we'll have no might to get our children back. All right. Now go to verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. It says the Lord's going to take us back into Egypt. Because prior to this we had just walked out from the land of Egypt under the hands of Pharaoh, serving slavery to him. Keep going. Whip ships. But he said this time we're going to slavery on slave ships. This is documented history that the Bible is talking about. But this is written way before it happened. That's to let you know this is a book of the living God. Right. All right. No other book can prophesy what happened to our people. No other book can tell you the state of our people today. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 